Hey YouTubers, trying to use my auto uh, self-drive, but the camera, the cab cabin camera up here, it says is not functioning. So you could try this, it may help you. If you come down, press this icon here on the far left lower corner, and then come over to the service button here, press that. And then we're going to go to camera preview. I'll kind of show you what your cameras are doing. Let's press that. This is camera preview. It takes a couple seconds. And then you have different cameras, like you have the main camera. So all the cameras are good, but if you go to cabin camera, that one, you get nothing. So something's up. It could be a hardware problem, but maybe it's just not initialized correctly. So I'm gonna try camera calibration. It says that you have to drive for about 100 miles on clearly defined streets for the um, cameras to be fully calibrated. Let's just try it and see if that cures the cabin camera problem. So you clear calibration this calibration cleared successfully. Uh, now we go to camera preview again. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Let's see. It takes us a few seconds. Yeah, the cabin camera is still not going. So, oh wait, there it goes. Just click back in. So maybe that does work. That's a pretty easy solution. So what we did again is uh, we weren't able to do the self-drive because the this camera was not firing up. So we went to service mode and we did the camera calibration. And we just said, yes, clear, clear the uh, existing calibration. And it looks like the camera came back online. Let's see if it's gonna let us do the auto drive. So I'm gonna go to autopilot Uh, looks like I can't choose that right now though. It was firing up before But it is not so it does say here that additional cameras are calibrating um, Navigate on autopilot beta, so I think it wants to do that But it has to, like it said it has to drive maybe up to a hundred miles um, To get uh, the calibration done correctly before it'll allow the self-drive so I think the camera's working now, but it may take a little while for it to relearn the calibration. We'll keep you informed. I notice as I'm driving this <coughs> steering wheel symbol by the speedometer is getting more and more information. You can see a taskbar going around. That's the camera's recalibrating. I've only driven less than a mile. It looks like it's almost halfway done. I'd say 75%. And again, just been a few miles. So probably by five miles, if you're on well-marked roads, you probably get your camera back. Keep you informed. Camera calibration complete. So that was at about four and a half miles. Okay, now we've parked. Our camera's fully calibrated. Let's see if we can engage that other system. So I'm gonna press this, the autopilot. I'll go to autopilot, press that. Yeah, I think it's back here now. Yeah, so it said you can do it. You press yes. So now theoretically the full self-drive will work. So we'll start driving and we'll see if that thing fires up. Okay, let me fire it up. Yeah, it's active, that worked. So our camera's working, I'm trying to navigate us through the parking lot right now. Okay, let's see if we can do it here. Yeah, works good. Hey YouTubers, if you have trouble with your autopilot system and it's saying it can't progress because the cabin, they'll say it right here, the cabin camera doesn't work. That's your cabin camera up there then you can do this pretty easy procedure so you don't have to use a service 
you can go to this icon here and then come over to the surface icon here and then scroll up the page a little bit until you get to camera calibration press that one and it's going to say uh, clear calibration but then it says it's going to take maybe up to 100 miles for the cameras to kind of get back where they're uh, working correctly so i did this to correct the problem i press clear calibration and it didn't take 100 miles it took about four miles and after four miles the little steering column icon up here had a blue taskbar line that got longer and longer and longer until it encompassed the full circle and then it said right here your camera calibration is done and the cabin camera came back online and the self-driving feature worked great so that's a pretty quick way to solve it it should take not 100 miles but probably five miles and probably about 10 minutes so hopefully this will help you guys get your autopilot working watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance and also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money so thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you to contact me at the email listed below, which is got the fixit guy at yahoo.com with any of your questions.